package by Samantha Meyer that is speaking about you know the comeback from day one. Bowled out for 242. We bowled Australia for 244. Two run lead. We're thinking, mm, what's going to happen here? It's only day two of cricket. All of a sudden, 500 odd for the Aussies to chase. And without a Dale Stain in the second innings, the victory was ours. Yeah, I think it was a, a proper display of uh, South African character. You know, we are a nation that prides ourselves uh, in, the, in the sporting fraternity. We are a nation that really does well when we have our backs against the wall. And the Proteus, uh, I mean, they've got this whole new culture that uh, was founded by Graham Smith on Protea fire, uh, which is all around uh, the Protea flower and mm. being in the desert and fire, surviving that. Mm. And I think that's exactly, you know, what it resembled. Uh, they were able to go back into the change room and they had, as Faf said, harsh yeah. words. But I don't think it was really harsh words. It was really honest conversations that they would have as, as the Proteas. What do they stand for? And mm. they really came back and, well, they yeah. did what they did, 550-odd. Um, 540 odd mm. runs that they put on the, on, the, on the board and after day one everybody everybody was down even the supporters here back home we didn't know what was next but on day two yeah. that was the Proteus yeah. that we had seen and it's something that we hadn't seen in such a long time yeah. because if you remember they've been on a downward spiral since Bangladesh and now you know yeah. they bounce back in emphatic style yeah, we, we, you mentioned Faf. Faf actually said something during, you know, uh, after the match, right? Uh, today, today's game. He said this was the best test match that he's ever been part of. It speaks volumes of of, of what these guys um, did uh, over, over the past four days. Yeah, um, and it also speaks volume on the kind of uh, leader that he has been. I mean, he's standing in for A.B. De Villiers. There is no greater player uh, currently in world cricket than A.B. De Villiers. Uh, maybe Virat Kohli is also yeah. up there. Uh, but for Faf, it would be more special because he was a captain and they were down and out only on day one. Mm. For any captain, that's a nightmare. That's something that would definitely keep them up. Um, but for the boys to come back and fight, uh, fight for him mm. as, as they did and come back to win, it's something that I think even in his wildest dreams he wouldn't have thought of. And it, like I said, it speaks uh, volumes on the yeah. kind of character that he has. Mm. I was actually, you know, we're having this debate after the game as well that, you know, maybe Faf is actually a better leader as it stands right now than AB because we didn't have AB. Yeah. Um, Hash didn't, you know, uh, uh, fire with the bat at all during yeah. the series. Uh, we didn't have Dale in the second innings for Australia, but somehow Faf was able to galvanize the troops and without, you know, those so-called big guns, only three, well, two, two, two fast bowlers and we were able to pull it out the bag. But I mean, if you look at Faf and you go back to the 2012 uh, test, uh, test match when he batted with Monomoko for an entire day, that's mm. the kind of uh, cricket player that he is. He's a fighter. And I think that's why we are able now to see sort of uh, a better performance by the Proteas uh, than we, we saw when A.B. de Villiers was at the helm. Um, Faf is a fighter. And the players are willing to fight for somebody yeah. who they know that is going to fight for them. Whereas in A.B. de Villiers, the game comes naturally to him. So the ability do, to do you think really... Maybe, do you think maybe A.B., the shackles are on him a bit, being captain? Um, he, he, wh where where is, does he stand? Is he a better player not being captain or is he a better player with that extra responsibility? I'm of the opinion that he's a better player not being the captain. Because if you look at A.B. and you assess his game, he's a brilliant cricketer. Yeah. The game of cricket comes naturally to him. Whereas in Faf Duplessis, he has to fight for yeah. his innings. A.B. De Villiers can come and knock now 142 yeah. or 45 balls as we saw in the Wanderers. Yeah. Whereas in Faf Duplessis, he has to graft hard. Yeah. And you know, players appreciate that because he doesn't get frustrated when things don't come together yeah. because he understands what it's like to be in their position. And I think perhaps that's where A.B. Uh, misses it. Yeah. Because for him, everything comes naturally. So yeah. he, he may get frustrated when players don't, don't kick off as he does. Mm. We're looking at the, some of the guys right now at training. Um, we've got another one coming up in a couple of days' time. In fact, over the weekend, you're telling me yeah. now that, geez, your biological clock is ticking away. Yeah. Um, what now? What do we do as far as replacing um, Dale Stain? I heard Dwayne Pretorius is on his way. Um, I've got this question. You've got Abbott, who's there. Do you take an all-rounder like Dwayne Pretorius and say maybe he'll work out? Or do you say, I'm going to take Abbott because it gives me something, you know, he takes wickets. He's got the capability of taking wickets. Dwayne, uh, well, he hasn't made his debut yet. No, 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 no running for, for the approaches. Well, Dwayne is being called up because he's really done well in the first class uh, uh, 
seen. He's scored runs, he's taken wickets, uh, his current bowling average is around uh, 22, yeah. uh, which is really good. Mm -hmm. um, his betting average is at 42 as it stands. And he's had a couple of solid knocks. And I mean, the other day he got pulled out in Poch for 97. Mm. So I really believe that he's been called up because of his betting and his bowling. But I don't necessarily see him getting an opportunity to make his debut. But he's there for the experience because he's toured uh, with the SA yeah. side. So now he's just there to feel what it's like to be in that environment. And hopefully that's going to inspire him to push harder and be hungrier yeah. to be at that, at that level. But now... Monomokal is not 100% the question fit. As well as not 100%. Carl Abbott is 100% fit and Carl can move the ball just as Vernon Philander yeah. did. And we saw what, uh, how crucial Vernon Philander was in the first innings when yeah. Del Stein went out. He took that seniority role and he made sure that everybody else doesn't feel the pressure as they would. K KG, the man of the moment right now, the darling of South African uh, cricket. Um, I want to start off with him, then bring in Tampa Bavuma. That crucial run out yeah. of David Warner. The turning point for me at this, in, in this match was it run out. A lot of people are saying that it was. And, and I believe you mentioned Philander. For him taking over the role kind of, you know, released some of the stress mm. as far as I, I think I saw from yeah. Gahi. So he was able to go in and do his thing. And then everything just fell into place thereafter. Well, if you look at the first innings, KG wasn't really hitting his marks uh, as, as we've come to know him. Yeah. He was bowling 138, 139. But in the second innings, he was bowling 145s, 146. And I think he clocked it at 149 even. And that sort of speaks volumes where probably Vernon went and had a chat with him and said, listen, everything is fine. You've got me by your side. Let's work in pairs. I'll take the pressure. You just bow as you would have. And yeah. look what happens. Uh, he had the freedom to be himself. And I'm sure Faf as well would have encouraged that. You've got the freedom to bowl your natural mm. length, mm. your natural line. Play your cricket. And look how well that has worked. Uh, Temba Bavuma, there's a lot of people that sort of questioned whether he belongs in this side. And he has worked hard yeah. to try and prove himself. And I think they were treated to something amazing. Uh, yesterday. Yeah. And everybody in world cricket, they're calling that the new John T. Rhodes uh, you know, yeah, highlight 92. for the next couple of years. Yeah, it, well. was, it was magical, really magical, and it changed the game. And if you are to take it into the context of taking wickets, that's worth three, four wickets. Mm. And it's David Warner. It's David Warner. He yeah. can take the game away I mean, from He nearly took it away from us in the first time. In the first innings, yeah. yeah. first innings. Well, Lunga Kupi, so thank you very much for joining us right here on Sports on Prime. Catch you, commentary, catch you on social media. Yeah, social media. I know you in-house analyst. I know that you worked with our sister channel during the uh, Cricket World Cup as well. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be seeing more of you right here on Sports on Prime. Lunga Kupi, so speaking to us right here about the cricket. All things cricket. We're going to have him again. It looks like a, another Malume, Kujo Mankwa. He can speak as long as it takes.